Hey y'all, it's Kathy. Welcome back to my channel, Imperfect Beauty. Yes, I just got out of the shower. I felt like doing a... What are these little marks on my neck? Here. I felt like doing a follow-up to my last video, which was um, the video on the suicide of my friend's uh, daughter kind of wanted to, to add a little something to it and sort of um, say why I posted it aside from the obvious reasons of course which is you know making uh, suicide awareness um, up front and center trying to spread the message which is what her parents are trying to do, of course, and I just wanted to, you know, help them out and everything like that. And, uh, hey, yay for 113 subscribers! Woo! So, anyways, um, uh, when I found out that Ashley had passed away because of suicide I um I was busted I was in tears I was I didn't know what to do what to think I was shaking I just it hit really close to home because there's someone near and dear to me who has attempted to commit suicide but did not pass away. So I just, I have felt that pain, but never all the way, I guess you could say. And now it was just so real and personal and deep. I didn't know what to do with myself. I didn't know how to wrap my head around it because being someone who has bipolar disorder herself and, you know, Ashley had bipolar disorder as well, I couldn't fathom a 16-year-old girl hurting that much inside that she would end her life. I just could not understand it. So for over a week, I couldn't leave my house. I was basically just in bed, crying, mourning for my friend's loss, and just, just sad, just really, really sad. It was, it was awful. And when I finally did leave the house, I felt terrible when I got to where I was going um, I stayed in the parking lot in my car crying because it felt wrong I felt as though why did I have the right to be out and doing things in the world if Ashley was no longer here with us doing those same things so, you know, I had to go see my therapist and work things out with him. And Ashley's dad was really good about, you know, um, answering questions and talking to me despite his grief. I don't know how they did it. And as you saw in the video, you know, they had, they had to move out of their house because they couldn't stand living there anymore. And it's, it's just been really, really rough for them. It's been really rough for all of their friends. Um, I mean, they have a massive quantity of friends because they, they have their military family because Les was in the Navy. And so they, he, he, they've been stationed in different places and have met a lot of really great people. And so... The reason I'm telling all of you this 
is because if there's somebody out there or or several people whatever out there who are contemplating suicide I want you to know I want you to see what you might be leaving in the wake of your death because I know I know I know firsthand that people think or people say to themselves oh the world would be better without me or my family would be better without me my friends would be better without me and that's not true as you can see in these videos as you can hear by what I'm saying that's a hundred percent false you would be missed you would be very, very sorely missed. I can guarantee that 100%. Like I've always said, you're not alone. Even when you think you are, you are never alone. There's always somebody. And it just, it just takes you talking to one person to open up. That's all. And for those of you who who um, have heard who have had someone open up to them, bravo to you for listening to them. Bravo to you for helping them, you know, find the help necessary. And, um, I guess that's all I had to say. I, you know, this is, um, Mental Health Awareness Month, if you all didn't know. Um, so, this would be a really good time to get educated or to if you're somebody who's having problems to if you're in school go to your counselor if you're an adult like I said I've always got those numbers down there they're not there for nothing I don't keep them there for nothing seriously I keep them there for you there's a whole bunch there's a there's the suicide hotline there's the there's a hotline for veterans there's a texting crisis hotline there's the trevor project hotline there's an, another one i can't remember what like for whatever there's one for for uh women's crisis you know like um what's it called uh why can't i think of it abuse I mean you name it I got it and if I don't have it I'll look it up <laughs> um so so yeah you know get educated on mental health like I've said before you could be saving a life and and I'm not being I'm not exaggerating it's the truth I mean just be a friend. Be nice to people. Like I've always said, be nice to people. Be kind to each other. You know, take care of each other. I love y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.